Hey everybody, uh, these are going to be my videos on the construction of my underwater structure. Um, I'm recording the commentary in this after the video, so if it doesn't quite sync up right, uh, sorry about that. Um, let's see, I put a new sign up here for In Loving Memory of Steve. Oh. Uh, went and got clay and put bricks around my incinerator. Moved my redstone up top there and I've put clay and brick in with my sand and glass because I don't see either of those ever filling up a full double chest so um, where I build my underwater structure entrance is right over here in the bottom of the pool uh, I've been kind of digging down here now one thing I do want to share with everybody is that just like X and a bunch of other people doing Minecraft videos, um, well, more my friends in real life, I've started getting burned out on Minecraft. And I'm sorry if that really disappoints you, but well, that's just a fact of life. Um, so this video is going to have a little less commentary than normal. Uh, just because of the fact that it, it's been delayed so long, primarily because I'm even bored watching myself play. So, uh, I know it's a little rough, but that's just how it is. Um, this area here, there's my base, and there's Bravo, and this is where I'm going to build it. Uh, it's already built, obviously, now, but uh, I built this column of stone up from the base, and then... I'm going to kind of break out sections and build out from that and then break out the rest of the column once I'm done. Um, after doing this video, I kind of realized that I went and watched other people build underwater structures and I'm doing it completely the wrong way. So you probably don't want to do it the way I'm doing it. Um, if you want to do it the quote unquote easier way, um, most people figure out how big they want it, build a giant mass of dirt, and then build glass around the dirt, and then go inside and dig the dirt out, and that gets rid of the water. Uh, I didn't know you could do it that way. I don't know why I didn't connect the dots for that, but uh, my way is a lot more complicated, takes a lot more time, but I felt kind of nice that I figured out a way to do it on my own even though it's the hard way, but I felt accomplished, so that's basically all it is there. I'll show you how I did it, which is kind of dumb, but it was fun, entertaining when I did it. Um, this is me building the tunnel to go out to where I need to turn. Uh, I think I stop right about here, and then I turn and go that way. Um, this is going to take me under the water in a glass tube the whole length um, until I get to the house at the end or the building. Um, fill that little rut there with water so that my initial plans were to put a boat in there and zoom on down uh, in a boat. Uh, and it works. Uh, it just doesn't work as good as I'd like it to. Uh, and you'll see details about that in the second video. but. Back to me not doing, getting a little burned out on Minecraft and probably stopping Minecraft videos for a while. Um, I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm just going to switch to a different game. Uh, and hopefully, uh, a little bit down the road, I'll get more excited about Minecraft again and come back after a couple of updates and play again and entertain y'all some more. But in the meantime... Um, I've already recorded a bunch of footage for new videos on a new game, and hopefully I'll get those posted shortly after these two videos are available. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stay silent and let y'all watch most of this, uh, and then I'll chime in every once in a while when commentary seems fit.
Okay, this part is kind of a basic demonstration as to how I'm building isn't really that hard. Here when you punch a hole in you can just cap it off with glass or dirt or whatever and it works fine. Uh, but later on it becomes a big problem when you start opening up huge areas where water can pour in. It just gets ridiculously long to get all the water out of there. So that'll be coming up here in just a second. Okay, this is kind of how I dealt with overflowing water. Uh, it works, but it takes forever. Uh, you get a bucket, and then basically what you do is you pick up one of the source blocks of water, and you put it on top of another source block. And it doesn't make two, it just destroys one of the two. Uh, and then slowly but surely, you work your way around, uh, knocking out each source block of water and eventually the water just goes away from inside. Um, like I said, it works fine, it's just very time consuming because uh, you actually have to go and locate each source block. Um, usually you have to do it layer by layer, uh, vertically going down. Um, and another problem with that is if you don't take them out in a good enough order, uh, they have a tendency of turning themselves back into infinite springs and creating new source blocks. And yeah, you know, like I said, I I watched a couple of videos about other people and how they built theirs after I was already done, and I thought to myself, "Wow, I did that so the wrong way." Um, I can't believe I never thought of that because I started doing this, where I would block off sections and get rid of source blocks this way, but then I would revert back to using a bucket, and I was just like, why am I doing this? This feels, I don't know why I did it, it felt, felt really dumb afterwards, I was like, man, I can't believe I was that dumb, didn't think of that while I was doing this, it was strange, it's just one of those things, I guess.
my initial intentions were to count the number of glass uh, blocks that I had to use to build this, and I got it got way out of control. Uh, so I just kind of scrapped that idea. I was going to put that in as a fun fact, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm using so much. Forget that. This is one of the areas that gets really hard when you're doing it my way. You just encapsulate this giant mass of water 